Coach, nine and four through non-conference play, but we, we talk enough, it was about getting your team ready for the start of SEC play. How do you think the non-conference slate did that for your team? Definitely uh, showed us what we needed to work on, showed us what we were doing well. Every match was a competitive match, is, which is what we wanted. And even, you know, going through last week of going on the road and playing a good Northern Colorado team and fighting through some adversity there, coming back and, and playing another good team in South Alabama who does some things that, um, you know, run their middles well. And we'll be definitely seeing that as we get into conference play. So it allowed us to work on making some adjustments. Um, definitely uh, we were able to see our team grow and gives us talking points with the team as we get to practice and we can look on film and see all those things that we need to work on in, in order to improve. Yeah, I ask you these intangible questions all the time, but you say the things you got to work on. So so what's something that you saw from that? Like, oh, we, this is an area we really need to improve on. And what's an area of your team you learned is a strength that you may not have known before the start of the season? Sure, I think for sure um, our consistency has been an issue. and. Uh, we've come out really well in three of the four matches that we've lost. We've won the first set, and in those, we've won the first set pretty convincingly. So how do we maintain uh, that consistency as we go throughout the match? And other teams are going to make adjustments, and especially as we get into SEC play, when you're scouted so well that they know what your strengths are, and they're going to try to take those away a whole lot earlier then some non-conference teams that are preparing for two, three, sometimes four teams on a weekend. So, um, you know, I think that's that's been our number one objective right now is um, is getting better as far as especially from an attacking standpoint. Sometimes we we came out in the first set against South Alabama had 19 kills and hit like 400. And then in the next set, we have 11 and hit like 150, something like that. So we, we've really got to find probably just a balance somewhere in between. Because uh, I really feel like if we're hitting in that 250, 260 range, uh, we're going to be competitive. And when I mean competitive, we can beat anybody if we can just uh, stay at a, at a decent level. It doesn't even have to be at a just this high level all the time. Of course, that's what we're shooting for. But... Um, and I think one thing that we've seen as a team throughout the preseason is that we have some good depth and we have some good, we've had some good play off the bench uh, from our middles. And when we went to a, a modified 5-1, having Caitlin coming off the bench is nice. Um, so I, I think that's one thing uh, that we've seen from, from night to night is, you know, in, in northern Colorado last weekend when Nayo had to sit out with an injury and Delaney stepped in. And, and played, and, and again, we, we got the sweep. So uh, we put a lot of players in different positions, and they've all responded really well. And we know that we can run a 6-2 or a 5-1 and, and be successful doing either. So what's different about SEC play? We've talked about how you got a young team. What are they going to find out on Friday when they step on the floor? I think we're still, as a program, fighting our way up. Um, and not to say that teams don't respect us. I think everybody in the SEC respects the other team on the on the other side of the net. But there's not a intimidation factor when teams within our conference play Ole Miss. I mean, we're still working hard, um, you know, to be one of those teams that's consistently in the top half of the league. And we've had some success over the past three years. Uh, we're fighting for that respect. Um, hopefully, this will be a breakthrough year for us. But we're going to see teams that are going to be very physical, um, for the most part, are going to be bigger than um, most of the teams that we played in the preseason. Um, you know, and it's just, um, I think, uh, in my opinion, outside of Florida and Kentucky at this point, it's going to be a dogfight the rest of the way. And you better be prepared and do the right things every single match because, again, there's not going to be an easy match. Um, in the conference. We will not out-talent anybody. So uh, you better come mentally prepared uh, to play. At the same time, there's some youth that are going to find all this out this weekend. Kate, Lexi, Caroline, what's it like having some of that veteran leadership to lean on as you go into conference play? 
Well, I mean, that you can't, you know, you can't um, train that. That's not something that uh, you can do in a practice type situation. It's only something that our, our young players will have to uh, go through just like they did, just like Kate, Lexi, Caroline, like you said, they're gonna have to, to go through that process and it, and it takes a while. But it's really nice to have the leadership that's, that's out there that can, can talk the young players through it and, and just help them understand that, again, we're gonna get pressed in some of these matches and how patient can we be and how can we keep our emotions intact when the other team is playing well and going on a run. How can we keep our own composure and stay consistent when we're doing well and going on a run and not, not kind of get ahead of ourselves with that as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's a fun season. I mean, the SEC season, uh, getting to go visit all these campuses and play at some great venues. And this is why those young players and, and our veterans as well came here to play. Let's get a quick preview of the two opponents this weekend. Auburn. They're going to be strong at setter and libero, plus they've got some really talented hitters all over the net. So what do you expect from the Tigers on Friday? Very good team. And, um, you know, Rick's done a really nice job with that group and seems like he's always in the mix, you know, gets a couple of victories against some of the top teams in the conference. So the talent's there. Um, and then they've played a really tough schedule and done very well with that. So they're going to be coming in highly confident. Um, run the middles well. We're going to have to defend that. We're going to have to serve tough, try to get them out of system some, get them out of their comfort zone. They're going to do the same to us. Uh, so I think it's going to come down to uh, which team can play lower error, but stay aggressive will be the one that, that comes out on top in that one. And then Alabama on Sunday. It seems like that's a match that is just always so competitive and evenly matched every time these two teams meet. Sure, we've had a lot of success against Alabama since since I've been here, but a lot of them we've eked out. <laughs> so, I mean, um, we expect the same thing again. Um, you know, and again, another, another good coach. Ed does a good job with his group. A lot of new players on his squad, a lot of freshmen out there. So, uh, you know, we our focus right now, 100% is going to be Auburn. And then we'll turn around and try to get ready for the that Alabama match. And then we have another quick turnaround with Mississippi State. It's kind of an interesting uh, first weekend for us. But um, I think it's a, a weekend that, that if we come out and play well, we'll have a lot of opportunities to get some wins.